Hello, this is Fighting Irish, Operation Live and Let Die. Turn 13.4 and .5, the British Commonwealth and French. We are in July 1942. Let's talk about a couple of things before. Looking at the rules, the two kamikaze says, uh, he took two shots. We're going to take the coastal shot, or coastal sub, because you get a target select at a surface ship if you get a one or two. This ship was in the area. You hit this, so we'll lose a coastal sub according to the rules. Let's talk about this right here. We have Fleet Carrier, a carrier, light carrier, three light carrier. They've been on the board for I don't know how many turns. And then you purchase three more turns as the Japanese who I'm talking about. Um, I don't know what the rules say about keeping them on there. I don't mind since we started playing this game. Um, I know there was Russian infantry on there for the longest turn. We had a couple ships. We don't need to change it now. We can leave it like this. Um, we can make it house rules. It don't matter. I just don't want to change uh, rules in the middle of the game. If you guys want to do that, Please let me know as of right now. I got you three subs, three light carriers, and the fleet carrier on the board whenever you're ready to bring them off. It doesn't have to be whenever. If you want to change it, let me know. Um, let's do some tech roll for the British. We are going to go for improved factories and... What else do we have on this? Shoot, I thought there was another one we were going for. Well, it's kind of late in the game to get something new. Um, well, let's go for improved factories and uh, advanced artillery. Let's go for improved construction since we're on stage three of that. Or not in construction, improved factories. We need a seven or higher. We got 11. So we did get improved factories. And let's go uh, advanced artillery. And we got a four. So no, we didn't get that. Okay, let's go for purchases over here. Um, that will change my build here. So. Um, Take this off. We're going to finish the fortification. It's for London. By six infantry. And four militia. That's for the British up there in uh, Great Britain. For the FEC, we're going to upgrade a militia. By two Gurkhas, one artillery, one cavalry, and three militia. And Anzac will buy one transport. Okay, combat moves. Uh, we're going to move this uh, cavalry, one through Abyssinia, and take Etreia. Take that away from the Italians. Um, actually, I think that is all the combat movements we're going to do. Let's start with non-combat. Take this seaplane. One, two, three, four. Go to Catalonia. Go from Florida to Catalonia, Brazil. Okay. Question. I have this other seaplane in Nigeria. If I go to Egypt, uh, my understanding, it can take a hit from an infantry. Uh... It cannot fire back at infantry, but it can take a hit. If that is the case, he will fly to in Egypt. Go through Chad, one, Sudan, eastern Egypt, and land in eastern Egypt. If he cannot, then he will go from Chad, Tripolitania, uh, sea zone 80, to Gibraltar. If he takes a hit, he goes to Egypt. That's where he's going now. If he cannot, 
I hope to reserve the right to put them in Gibraltar. Okay, this guy will be railed all the way up to Egypt. He comes from South Africa to Egypt. Since we're in Egypt, the bomber goes one, two, three, four into another name for Bombay there. Uh, artillery, infantry, artillery, infantry, and cavalry all go to Nubia. Uh, destroyer will meet up with the British fleet right here. He comes from Sea Zone 33 to Sea Zone 79. Uh, the Marine will take a spot in the French capital of Algeria. Also, non-combat wise, we're taking the uh, Satidra Bomber and the Airborne. Going one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because of the air base to the French capital of Algeria. Leaving the hot spot of London to somebody else. Because they definitely don't want to be there this time of the year or next year. Speaking of uh, Egypt, this tank is moving back. Artillery is moving back to Egypt. These two infantry are moving back to Egypt. Uh, let's see what else can I get into. Um, Hong Kong card. Here's the Hong Kong card. This fighter goes one, two, three, four into Bombay with the jet fighter and the bomber. Now, this Anzac transport will go Satchidrant Naval movement pick up an infantry a British guy go one two three pick up an AA four five drop off in Egypt an AA and an infantry uh, that's what they are doing right there okay let's see down the Anzacs way, they're taking this uh, transport with the two infantry moving to Western Egypt or Western Australia. Uh, the artillery is moving into Bombay. Uh, and a Tonka, these two infantry are moving back to Burma. Uh, they're staying, they're staying. Um, cavalry from going into Bombay, I like that name better than how do you else say it. Uh, do I have any other? No, I think that's about it on the non-combat. Uh, Money-wise, they stayed the same. Nothing went up. They didn't take any land. They just took the one that's not worth anything. So I have Anzac at 5 plus their 2. FECs, 21 plus their 2. And Great Britain plus their 5, so 24. Four plus their wartime economy. Let me grab another dice. So I got a black and a blue one here. They get a nine for their wartime economy. And so, uh, what did I say? 24 plus nine, so 33 for the uh, uh, British. So let's place units. 
transport goes there, of course. Uh, uh, two Gorkas uh, go to Burma. I go with the other one there. Um, takes care of that one. The artillery will go in southern Egypt or India. Calvary will go to Kata. Uh, militia. One militia will go into Hong Kong. That would be number five militia for Hong Kong. Uh, Another militia for the British Malaya. That is three for the British Malaya. And Burma will get a militia right here. Okay, so the British over here will get... Um, Let's break this up. Let's see. Four infantry and two infantry and three and one. Yes, that's how I'll do it. So I bought four militia and uh, Take this red chip back, this off. Okay, so two, because of the improved construction, or improved factories, these two go into Egypt. This militia will also go into Egypt. The fortification, plus all these other units, will go into Egypt. Take this off. Put the fort in London. Um, four infantry goes to London. Plus the three more militia. Now, I think I said it wrong my last turn out. So let me clarify what's in London. There is 11, 12 militia. Ten, fourteen infantry, two artillery, three artillery, sorry, three artillery, three AAs, and a jet fighter, plus a fortification. Um, maybe that's not ours, I can't remember. Um, but that's what's in London. So it is 12 militia, 14 infantry, 3 artillery, 3 AAs, and a jet fighter plus a fortification. Um, over in Egypt, the other side of the world, let's compact this. Okay, so it looks like there is 1, 2, 3 militia. Four militia total. So that's a chip out of four. So one, two, two, four, five, six, six, seven, eight infantry, two artillery. A seaplane, if he can take a hit. Uh, if not, he goes to Gibraltar. And an AA gun. Over in Hong Kong, you have three infantry, five militia, 
one Anzac, four Americans, plus a jet fighter, a fighter, a tactical, and a bomber. Okay, I think that is the end of the British 13.4. Unless you want me to emphasize in Algeria, the capital of the French, has two militia, two French militia, or two infantry, two French infantry, two jet fighters, one U.S. Marine, one British Airborne, one British Marine. Um, and the French have six dollars to spend, so they're buying two infantry right there. They do have a combat move. It's apparently the French's favorite thing to do. They take the sub, go one, two, three. Right there, they're going to convoy the Italian line. My favorite thing to do as the French is to convoy access this line. So we'll take this red dice and this black dice. Add two to the red because that's the French. Black is the axis. Okay, here we go. And six plus four or six minus four is two, but the line's only worth one. So the Italian loses a dollar because this line is worth one dollar, I believe. Uh, yes, it's one dollar. So the Italians lose one dollar because the French decide to convoy the line. It's like the only thing they're good for in this game. Um, okay, we collect six. Let's say the same. And let's put out our unit. One, coach in China. Infantry will go here, one French guy there, and one chip to Tunisia with the artillery. Okay, and I don't think there's any other French units on the board, um, except that French sub is steam spot, uh, holding its place in line. Uh, that is the end of the British 13.4 and 5, uh, and the French handing over to Panzer J, the Italians for 13.6 and Operation Liver Let Die. Alright, thank you.